It's been a great pleasure and honor to have the EMC lab inaugurated by our Honorable Minister for Industries, IT, Municipal Administration, Rapid Development Sri KT Ramaranga. We have been looking forward for this honor for quite some time. And this EMC facilities project was approved before COVID. We sanctioned a budget of 100 crores. And in the first phase, we have already spent more than 30 crores. And today we have seen. And we have already begun expanding the capacity. Civil work has commenced. So EMC will have its dedicated building in the next 12 months. And we are likely to double the capacity in the next 12 months. And we will be investing another 70 crores in the next three to five years space. Because we have come into wireless age almost a decade ago. So today, there are several electronic gadgets which touch our lives. Many, I mean, right from all the medical devices, biomedical equipment, which need to help us to take care of our health. Even our cell phones or even, there are so many equipments even in life sciences facilities which log the environmental condition to anything. Whether it is a liquid nitrogen canister also to see the temperature we need an electronic device which needs EMC testing. So today there is hardly anything which does not require EMC testing. So about 50 to 60 years ago, you know, we used to see disturbances on the radio. We never understood why the disturbances were there. Because in each car you get a high tension coil operating at 18 kilowatts. So if it's a car radio that used to make noise. And at home also the phones used to get disturbed. Noises used to prevail. So the technologies have evolved. So today practically every electronic product goes through electromagnetic interference testing and electromagnetic compatibility testing. So that's how the products are engineered today. A lot of it goes into development of any of the products today. So that's the reason we have decided to be in this line. So the establishment of Vimta's EMC lab is quite timely and this is also in line with our vision to make Vimta a multidisciplinary laboratory of global repute. In 1984, we started with testing water samples, mineral samples. Subsequently, we started certifying the ISI products, the now Bureau of Indian Standards. Then we got into pharmaceutical testing, environmental testing, so on and so forth. So every few years, we were always adding some capability which is of relevance to the industry and the economy. So this is one such strategic initiative that has brought all of us together today. With the increase in adoption of next-gen electronic devices, India is poised to be a major electronics manufacturing hub in the near future and calls for advanced testing and manufacturing setup. It's called ESDM, Electronic System Design and Manufacturing. So these requirements are Thus, growing in the fields of biomedical devices, telecom, wireless, EVs, that is electric vehicles, defense, avionics, industrial controls, and it's calling for urgent capacity building in advanced testing infrastructure such as EMI, EMC. So we don't have too many facilities across the country. Here, being a strategic city for defense R&D and laboratories, they have such capabilities. In private sector, I think this is one of the finest EMC laboratory we have set up today. So this EMC lab is established here in Genome Valley, Telangana State, and we have commenced activities to double the capacity in this campus and expect to complete in the next 12 months. And what Vimta has done today is of great relevance to our state of Telangana. 
which is witnessing exponential growth in biomedical, telecom, wireless, defense, and avionics and EVs. So we were inspired by the seeds sown by our honorable minister, Sri K.T. Ramarao, five years back. He was talking about medical devices part, biomedical industry. So we thought we should be there, we should not miss the bus. So that with that inspiration, then just a few years back we started thinking on the EMC and today it has become a reality. Hats off to the dynamic leadership of Honorable Minister for Industries, Sri K.T. Ramarangar. I am sure Vimpra's EMC lab inaugurated today will help position Telangana and India as a global leader in electronics product testing. 